Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I thought I'd do an anti-haul. I want to do a pro-haul, but sign up for a newsletter to see what I or actually ordered this week. So anyway, otherwise I wouldn't do a pro-haul, but sign up below. Okay, so today there's some new skincare products I'm not going to buy, and I'm going to talk about some of them and why I'm not buying them. And I did find some goodies that I actually did want to buy in them, which has been kind of unusual. So... First up, I'm going to start with the new Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Candy Cane. And it has fragrance in there, and I have a feeling Candy Cane. What do Candy Canes taste like? Peppermint? Peppermint, generally, not so great for your skin. Uh, as my dad has found out, his lip balm that I was using before the ones I gave him had a lot of peppermint oil or menthol in them. And, uh, yeah, he started getting irritated, and uh, his skin around his mouth he started getting irritated, so... I was happy to hand them over some nice lip balms. Okay, next up, the Herbivore brand, which I already hate, has a 2% salicylic acid serum, which is uh, near the bottom of the ingredient list, ton, full of a ton of fragrance ingredients. And honestly, I don't trust this brand to have a properly pH'd exfoliant. Salicylic acid is not as touchy as like AHAs or glycolic acid, but uh, salicylic acid, in my, my experience using it, still works better at a pH of below four. Uh, I don't, this brand, you know I don't like them anyway because they lied about their products and what was in them, but in this one, this is full of all kinds of fragrance ingredients, linalool, titanium dioxide is in there, jasmine flower extract, just all this other stuff that you just don't need and I'm not a big fan of titanium oxide and nighttime serums or things like that. I just... A lot of those ingredients like tin or mica, they irritate my skin. So, anyway. Okay, next up, Sephora's got a cryo cooling mask, which uh, at four bucks seems like it might be a bargain, but think twice because uh, when you think of cooling, what do you think of? You think of tingling sensation. And what is that? That's actually just irritation. Your skin should never burn or tingle or feel that cooling feeling. It's not great for your skin, and uh, let me see what was in this one, uh, ingredient-wise. Fragrance, uh, uh, menthol, menthol lactate, yeah, so not good stuff. Really, the only real beneficial ingredients really in here is cucumber and caffeine, which you can probably find in a gazillion other products that aren't going to irritate your, your skin, especially your eye area. Okay, next up, do 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 Cetaphil came out with a ceramide serum. They actually released a couple new products uh, since the last time I was at Ulta. And uh, I'm not exactly sure. Something about this product looks not totally full of ceramides. So it's 25 bucks, which doesn't seem terribly expensive. But, I mean, there's still a lot of other K-Beauty brands that are half that price. For beneficial ingredients in here, there's not a whole ton. And then we've got Gardenia Florida Extract, which can be a fragrance ingredient, irritates skin. I only see one ceramide in here, and it's under the ingredient sodium hydroxide, which is a pH buffer, which I don't love in products in high amounts. So I have a feeling there's going to be more irritation from this product than benefits, uh, especially for those with sensitive skin. That's just me. Okay, next up, I have never heard of this brand before. Dore? Dore? D-O-R-E with a little thingy over the E. Uh, this is supposed to be like a face scrubber type thing, and this one looks like it would be very harsh on your skin. Uh, it's got these little silicone things that stick out and you're supposed to scrub it over your face. It just looks very irritating. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe they're very malleable. I don't know, but they look like it's going to irritate your skin. So if you're interested in something like that, you're better off buying I don't, one of those little scrubby devices of Amazon. That's like the copy of the uh, Foreo device. But that one looks like it could be irritating, so... Sometimes it's just not worth it, so. Okay, next up, Tony Moly has a Plumpkin Retinol Neck Cream. And your neck, skin on your neck is super sensitive. It's super thin. Uh, there's not as many oil glands on, on the skin of your neck as there are in other areas, which is why it's sometimes dry and more sensitive. And with this product, they threw all kinds of fragrance in here on top of a retinol, which can already be irritating enough. Um, you know, retinol is great for wrinkles and things like that. If you can find a very gentle, uh, small amount of retinol product to use on your neck, it'll be nice. But this one has such a high amount. And then in here, I've got orange peel oil, bergamot oil, mandarin oil. Uh, yeah, the retinol is actually the very last ingredient, I believe. Or second to the last ingredient. So, yeah, 
This one looks like it's going to be... Oh, uh, so then we've got retinol, limonene, a linol, tons of fragrance. Your neck doesn't need that, especially when you're already combining with an ingredient that could be sensitizing to start to get used to. So, uh, okay, last but not least, the RMS Beauty brand, which uh, was kind of just more of a makeup brand. They were, uh, I'll call it quote-unquote the clean makeup brand. And they came out with this product, and it is full of fragrance. So in here we've got, uh, let's see, uh, rose oil, tamarind seed. We've got some good ones, and then we get to the bergamot peel oil, and orange peel oil, and geranium oil, mugwort oil, which is actually can be good for some skin, uh, rose flower oil, geranol, limonene, linalool. It's a mess. Sixty-four bucks. I I can't remember was that brand into skincare at all before. I know about some of their eyeshadow and things like that. But anyway, I, I guess if they're trying to break into skincare, they're not going to have me as a customer, I can tell you that. So uh, anyway, so those are my anti hauls for the week. Curious uh, and hearing from you guys what you're buying or not buying. Either one. I love to hear about both. So leave them below and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.